Good morning, this is Data Explorers and I'm Jessica Johnson. The FTSE closed up 3% yesterday evening, with the DAX and the CAC also showing positive results, with both um, ending up around 4% up as well. British banks have also increased dramatically as the close of business yesterday evening, with Barclays finishing up 65%, HSBC finishing up 5.4%, RBS up 21.49%, and Lloyds up 33.47% at the close of trading. All of these bank stocks have shown an uptick in short interest as well over the last week, with Barclays increasing its short position from 3.5% of its shares outstanding on loan to 5.5% towards the end of last week, with utilisation or the percentage of the available supply rising from 20 to 30% in the same time frame. This recent rise in price could have posed massive problems for short investors who could have suffered big losses. HSBC has also risen in short interest from 1.6 to 2.4% in the same time frame as Barclays, although it must be noted that these are still relatively small percentages. Utilisation is up 10%, up from 6% from early last week. RBS's short interest was down marginally from 0.8 to 0.7% between Wednesday and Thursday of last week, with utilisation ebbing around the 6% mark, but up from 0.2% since the ban was lifted. Interestingly, as RBS's share price dropped on January the 16th, the day the ban was lifted, there was a high amount of shares traded, 750 million compared to the weekly average of 400. Lloyd's percentage of shares outstanding on loan has also dropped off from the immediate increase post the lifting of the ban, down from 1.4% to 1.2%, but up from 0.9% on January the 19th. Utilisation is at 13.7%, up from 11% on January the 16th. And on January the 20th, when the utilisation went from 117 to 15%, there were 180 million shares traded, compared to the weekly average of 110. For more information, please visit our website, www.dataexplorers.com. Many thanks and have a great day.